What's up, my tubers? That's what I'm going to call you from now on, because, you know, we're on YouTube. You are, however, still watching Victor the Magician, this guy. I'm just uh, trying a slightly more casual approach than usual, making things a bit more uh, conversational, if you like. Uh, let me know if it's working down in the comments, if it's the uh, style you'd prefer to see more of. Now, today I'd like to show you one of my favourite magic tricks, and we're going to be using... Uh, these cards to do it. These are uh, Amethyst Ornate White Editions. And as you can see, they do have a really sort of ornate back design, and the face cards are really sort of beautiful and slightly Harlequin esque, which is really unusual. And the effect I want to show you is a transportation effect that involves getting the audience to pick a card, or a member of the audience to pick a card. It would be weird to ask every single member of a theoretically quite large audience to do that. Let's not go there. So let's just start that sentence again. In fact, I would be asking a person to pick a card, a spectator. And uh, we don't have any spectators here. I am alone, surrounded by the chilly circle of my accomplishments and no human beings. There's a dog over there somewhere, but you know, I, I don't think he's going to help. This is becoming more digressional than I intended, actually. The point is that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle the deck and pick a card at random instead of having a spectator pick one. Okay, so let's do that without further ado. So as you can see, we've got the deck genuinely shuffled. I didn't just say that I'd shuffled it. This is all really happening and a few cuts as well. Now, if I just go through the deck and we drop out a card, then you know that card is completely random. It could be any card. On this occasion, however, it happens to be the Three of Hearts. See, there it is. And I'm just going to pop that down there. Now, if I was using a less expensive deck and I actually had a spectator, I might ask them to, you know, sign it or something, just to confirm that when it transports later in the trick, it really is their card. But for now, just you can see it's there. Just take it on faith. Well, taking on the evidence of your eyes, like I said, it's right there. In the meantime, what I want to do is take two cards from the top of the deck, which happen to be the Seven of Hearts and the Four of Diamonds. Now, what these cards are really doesn't matter. What does matter is that they are going to act like a beacon to this card here, this Three of Hearts. And they're going to make it magically transport from the middle of the deck to them. I'll show you what I mean. If I take deck and cut it so that we have the three of hearts placed between the four of hearts and the six of diamonds and i'll leave it sticking out so you can see the, so you can see that it really is there right up until the moment it disappears and then it is going to vanish and travel over there and the moment that and the way i'm going to do that the way it's going to happen is just by spreading through the cards like this and you can see that there are no now there are now no face-down cards in this entire face-up deck. So the Three of Hearts really has gone. But if I take these cards over here and found them out, you can see that a face-down card has appeared between them. And that card is the Three of Hearts. Now, this would work with absolutely any card. Again, this can be signed. But uh, I think you'll agree that that's pretty impossible. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I am Victor the Magician, and it's been a pleasure to perform for you. Uh, sorry that some of those lines were a little bit muddled up, and uh, my voice wasn't quite as confident and clipped as usual, but hopefully this uh, new casual approach will... It's something we'll settle into, so... Thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you next time for more magic.